Hey everyone, I'm Ava and we're here at Sea Life on the Sunshine Coast to celebrate World Ocean Day. We're about to dive into some fun and you're invited to come along with this animal adventure. Can you guess where our first stop is? They're expert divers. They can't fly, but they can become airborne. You may also know them to have happy feet. Check this out. We're here for the penguins feeding time. that penguins eat krill, squid and fish. I've never tried that before, but it looks like the penguins are enjoying it. If you notice at the end of a penguin's beak, there's actually a little hook that is perfect for grabbing dinner. Yummy fish. Creatures here. If I was a sea creature, I'd be a turtle. They're so pretty. If I was a sea creature, I'd be a shark because they're mysterious just like me. If I was a sea creature, I would be a penguin because they swim really fast. I'd be an otter because they're cute and cuddly. I'd be a whale shark because they are big and protected. If I was a sea creature, I would be a turtle because then I could hide in my shell from all the other scary meat predators like sharks. I'd be a shark, because then I could eat all the other fish. <coughs> We're off on our next mission. Can you count how many sea creatures we spot? to our final spot, can you guess where we're going? These animals have incredible eyes. They can sleep underwater and they have whiskers. If you guess seals, you're right. Off to the seals we go. We're here with Seal Trainer Renee to find out more about these beauties. What kind of behaviours do you teach the seals? So there's lots of different behaviours that we train the seals here at Sea Life. A lot of the behaviours that we train them go into their medical care. So it allows us to check over their bodies each and every day from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail to make sure that they're nice and healthy. The rest of the behaviours go into our presentations that we use to educate members of the public here at Sea Life, showing off some of their strengths and talking about some of the natural behaviours that they would exhibit in their natural habitat. That's awesome. Okay, Renee, we want to know, how many times do you have to feed, feed a seal a day? So we feed the seals about four to five times a day, and that's in our training sessions and our presentations. So they get fed when we first get in here, and then they get fed throughout the day, up until we go home. That sounds like us. We eat about four times a day. And finally, Renee, the seals have really cool whiskers. Do they have a special purpose? They do have really cool whiskers, and their whiskers actually have a really cool purpose as well. They're really sensitive, so they've got nerves located at the base of them, and they're about 10 times more sensitive than a dog or cat's whiskers. And what they use them for is to detect movement through the water, so they can actually hunt using their whiskers instead of their eyes if they were in really dark water. It's pretty cool. Wow, I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? There is heaps to know about seals. They're really cool animals. And in fact, you are just in time to see one of our presentations. So if you guys take a seat, the presentation's gonna start in about five minutes or so.
How awesome was that, guys? There's so much to learn at Sea Life. I'm really happy to be here. Maybe you guys can help come here too. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. We hope you had fun. What a way to celebrate World Oceans Day. 